Okay, this is a duplication of Larisco's Amazing Circuit. Um, this here is six ferrite cores on a half, approximately a half inch brass pipe. This is a smaller version just to give you an idea. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart, but you can see the ferrite, individual ferrite cores and they will slide off of here. Um, this is a one and a half volt battery. Uh, I'll get into the details of this here in just a few minutes. This is just a uh, 12 gauge electrical wire. Uh, I'm going to put it in here. And then I'm going to take two of these 10 millimeter LEDs And I'm going to put it across this wire. And you can see that it lights both of these. And this wire is insulated in the center section, you, as you can see there. Um, kind of a neat thing about this is, is you have to have contact on either side of this. If you just take a piece of the same type wire, 12 gauge, and slide it in here where you have both contacts on one end it will not light an LED <clears throat> okay I've designed several types of inserts here Here's one on a wooden dowel. It's just wrapped round and round. I, I believe it's about a 30 gauge or 22 gauge wire. And you can see that lights. Here's one where I folded it back and forth, back and forth. This is approximately six feet of the same wire. And it'll light. Here's one with a non, uh, non ferrite it's aluminum composition. I don't know exactly what the composition is, but it's non-magnetic and and the copper wire is wrapped around it. Here I'm going to take and attach to the rod. and you can see that it's it's lit <clears throat> now I'm going to show you another attribute of this thing okay here we have it lit and I'm going to go grab a, another jumper cable here real quick. <coughs> if you just take a jumper, uh, let me position the light here where you can see it, and come across, you will kill that frequency. So it acts much like a resistor. And for that reason, uh, I've been calling this core here a ferrite tube resistor, is what I've been calling it. Here we have four 10 millimeter red LEDs. These here are not as bright. They're uh, off a of Christmas tree lighting. Um, they are a maximum 3.3 volts. I'm going to keep adding <coughs> lights.
The other day I had eight of these little lights and those four big ones. No problem. Let me, uh, I forgot to put my fresh battery in there, so I'm going to do that now. There it is. <clears throat> Probably see it on the video a little better. Uh oh, what am I doing? There they are. I think I got a weak connection here with my. A weak connection here somewhere. Starting to run out of room here. Hopefully my head's not getting in the way. <clears throat> but anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to show you the diagram in case you haven't already seen it. And make sure that you guys can see this. I'm gonna have to move this camera here a little bit. Okay, it might be a little crooked. But what we have here is here's here's the pipe and the six ferrite beads. These ferrite cores, the ones I used, are F-50-H. They have a permeability of 15,000. The capacitor used in the circuit is a 47 picofarad, um, 100,000 K resistor, or 100,000 ohm resistor, I mean, um, and two transistors. The smaller one, <coughs> is a BC557C. It is a PNP. The larger one is a BDX33C and it is an NPN. Uh, I've had quite a bit of fun with this circuit and I hope you guys do. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Larisco for posting this several months ago. Thank you and have fun. <coughs>